<laughs> my model now. Hey, Port Captain Arjun. Your crew is being cooperative. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm just gonna fiddle with your computer. <laughs> the following items are cleared for immediate shipment to vo shipment to Vold. Three crates, solar heater replacement parts. For, okay, yes, a lot of ammunitions. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Data pad. Goodbye. Oh, what's this? My love. I never planned to leave. Each moment I spent with you only brought me joy. Even though you've never understood what you mean to me. There were moments I could have shown you how I really feel, but I wasn't brave enough. Not that I, not that you could have accepted me. Now I have to go, you know, and I don't think I'm coming back. I hope for a day when we owe nothing to anyone. I dream of a moment when we find each other again and claim the lives we always should have led. The message ends here. Oh, war sucks. Good thing this is only a game. Oh! I can research things here. Look at all these things I can research. What is this? <laughs> I keep... Oh, this is leading to the outside. So, as I edit my videos, I think the most common phrase I have is... What is this? What is that? What's this do? <laughs> I'm so confused. But I think that's only right and proper because we're in a new galaxy and I don't know what half of these things are do. Uh, what half of these things do. Especially in Remnant Vaults. I'm like, what is going on in here? I don't understand how any of this works. <laughs> uh, anyway, oh, I like these kind of bubble uh, art style they got going. They are very. They have a very rounded, rounded art style. These Angarans. Look, look at this lamp! Man, this place is beautiful. I thought you were heading back to the outpost. Bill Yev asked me to stay and coordinate with the city team to collect more precise readings. Seismologist. Hmm, are you looking for an architect? Because I am an art architect killer. Oh, Cora would love this place. Look at this. Look at all the flowers. Cora, are you here? Cora? Ah, that is cool. I love the aim uh, ambient sounds they got going. Oh, look at this. Water effects. Oh my god, look at this view. I'm like, is this a volcanic planet or is it a tropical paradise? I still haven't mind. Uh, I still haven't made up my mind. Is that a fire tornado over there? Is that lightning of doom? And then you're like, oh, beautiful landscape. Then like, boom, Mordor. I don't know. It's a very diverse. It it has a very diverse biome. But then again, it might be because of the vault. We do, uh, we are here to to check out uh, the vault. Remember that. Okay, what's this? Oh my God! Bleep bloop bleep bloop. What's this? Aww, that's a nice sentiment. Uh, memory Garden Dedication We rose from nothing to touch the stars, made homes on many worlds. Do not mourn what the cat stole from us, celebrate what still remains. 
All things reach their end and make way for new life to fill the void. The worlds and people we lose will return in time. Family grows forever. We dedicate this garden to those who are not here with us, but who will one day return. This place is for them. Oh, I would have loved to have a holographic, um, a, a hologram of the stars in my room, or just in a room. Look at this. This is amazing. Ah. Hello. Woo. That's a gun. Uh. Mm hmm. Here's something. Okay, another fast travel. Marketplace? Ooh, do we want to buy something? Decryption keys, maybe? Uh, ooh, where to go? Wait. Oh, there's decisions. Left or right. Let's go up here first. I think there was a quest up here, actually. And, wow, look at this. Um, oh, wait, there's more tears than one. Okay, let's... let's mm. Ooh, that scared me. Hello? Where am I going? Okay, okay, so this is some kind of command station thingy. And down here is some kind of marketplace. Okay, so let's go up here later. Let's check out the marketplace first. Okay, uh, let's go here. Hi guys. Man, this view is amazing. Also, beware of Mordor, the land of the Dark Lord. That looks horrible, you guys. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing those fire tornadoes over there? I mean, they it look pretty awesome. Don't, don't get me wrong, but it looks dangerous. Okay, uh... Life goes on, even though there's a war outside. Okay, marketplace. <gasps> it's Vetra. <laughs> hey, Vetra. Doing okay? Who knew saving a respected member of Angaran society would open so many doors? I've been talking to some of their traders, seeing if we can work things out. Yeah, this should be... This should be right up your alley. Uh, yeah, let's have a good first impression. I know you like looking for the advantage, but we need to earn their trust first. Don't bargain too hard. You're the boss. <laughs> she says with a smile. Yeah, I, I saw that smile. I heard that smile. The resistance needs volunteers. The Ket have felt the power of the resistance, and they know their end is coming. Our victories on Vold are only the beginning of what we can achieve, but we can't defeat the, defeat the enemy without your help. If you're tired of living in fear, if you believe we were sent, we were meant for something greater than slavery, if you're willing to stand up and fight, you'll find a new family in the resistance. We'll train you to strike back at the cat and reclaim what is your ours. The resistance defends the future of all Angara. Join us. Exan Ingil. I'm not selling to aliens. Your odds of okay. Where I'm just gonna go over here. Hey, armor merchant. New clientele is always welcome here. Have a look. I'm sure you'll find something to your taste. I like this guy better. Why would you say this? I could be a super douche if I want. Can't hurt to be prepared. Maybe you've got something I'm looking for. If I don't today, I will tomorrow. No. How does this leg look? Legs look. Looks plating. Okay. What is this? Terminate, terminate, 
kill all humans. Uh, thank you, uh, but no thank you. Put a layer of security between yourself and danger. Yeah, dude, I got that covered. I got so much armor right now, and I crafted it myself. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Um, holographic message terminal. Yeah, it's the same thing as the last one. Materials merchant. Okay, I think what we need... I have something to help. I think we need iron. They let you pass the gates. Huh. It's an honor, and I understand that. I'll be respectful. All right. Everyone deserves a chance to prove themselves. I like it. Uh, my ride is a very... He's all about first contact going well. And he, as a pathfinder, that's his job. So, of course, I'll play him as diplomatic as, as I possibly can at the moment. Kinetic coil. I like those. Let's buy one of those. Otherwise, I think I got most of these uh, things. Let's buy another tech damage module, just in case. Uh, we do love... Uh, ooh, element zero. You know what? Ooh, for one? This... Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's scary. That's scary. I don't even know how much I have. Uh, do I have iron? No. Not yet. There we go. Let's buy 20 iron. And I'm... Mm, Let's do this now. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what I need. Uh, we'll probably get to that once we're gonna craft something new. And knowing me, it's not gonna be too long. <laughs> okay, fill on. Vesteran? I was there when you landed. Watched you get escorted through the city. Bet that was a sight. You were an unexpected outsider. Not really a laughing matter. I've never seen fruit like this before. What are these? Paripo. Sweet with a little bite. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I have a few Kiloa or Elmo. Oh, we need snacks for our movie night. In this form, yes. Very expensive. If you buy your Paripo from me, it means you have something to celebrate. It's a luxury. Meant to be shared with friends and family. I'll get moving. No. What? No. This is what we need for the movie night. Okay, fine. Ah, oh, general goods. Now we're talking. Your credits are as good as anyone else. What? Don't start any trouble and we're fine. I can do that. Good to hear. Wait, wait a moment. Someone said you would be wise to talk to me before you do any trade. I think it was this girl. I never thought I'd see the Moshai again, least of all thanks to you. Welcome to the marketplace. I am Arbiter Renard. I enforce correct conduct between merchants and customers, resolving any disputes. Okay. As the first outsider to enter the city, you are ignorant of our laws. We should change that. Yes. Oh. Oh. This, mm, this, is, this is a nice sentence. Sentence. Judgment and punishment. Tell me. Tell me all about your laws and judgments. Who decides what happens to people who break the law? It depends on the grievance. I settle minor offenses right here. More serious ones require a tribunal. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're some sort of police officer here uh, that has the ability and the... Um, she, she can resolve disputes herself. Basically, okay. Trade laws, bam. Where I'm from, the biggest trade law is don't cheat. Is it different here? I suspect we define cheating differently. What is unfair changes based on perspective. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do I learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. Familiarize yourself with the contents. Okay. 
Personal responsibility is a core foundation of our society. We expect it from everyone. Understood. Please visit my colleagues in the Governor's office and the Resistance headquarters. They'll teach you about our culture and what it means to walk freely among us. Your understanding is critical. It would be unfortunate if you accidentally violated our laws. Yes, yes, of course. That's very important. Well, uh, for now, I think I saw a decryption key. Welcome. Thank you. We're gonna buy that. Hey, let's buy some more destructor ammo. And one more incendiary ammo. And... Oh. Do Remnant... Do Remnant have fighters? I guess so. Yeah, we've seen one of those before. It crashed. Is there anything else we need in here? More iron? Oh! This is the, the uh, quest thing, I think. Did we do it? Find a plant on Aya for Suvi. Yeah, snack. Alright, good. Uh, so, that's the marketplace done. Let's set up here. Uh, speak to Arbiter Omdal. For more information. Okay, let's go up here. And here we go. Not what I was expecting. Uh, hello, Arbiter. Hello, sir. Arbiter Renav told me to expect you. I prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it fully. That's gonna. I can't stand stand on that side. That's rude. Let's stand here. Okay. How many pages are we talking about? Page one of five thousand nine hundred and eighty-three. That, that's... wow, I... Mm, mm, that's some bedtime reading for you. As defined by the first founders of Aya, this world and all who live on it agree to abide by the laws, customs, and regulations of a civilized society that has existed for centuries on other worlds. These rules of conduct ensure a voice for each family within our society. It gives them certain invaluable in viable rights. Uh, oh, that's a lot of pages. Sure, uh, I'll get around to that. I, I'm thinking we have lost... <laughs> if I do start reading the, this book right now, we're probably never gonna find any of the other arcs. <laughs> Pathfinder? As you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from Aya's people. Of course. I mean, it would, it would be the same if we did the, if we discovered aliens. It'll take a long time to trust strangers again. Which is why they want the Nexus to listen to them. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. Cool. I'd appreciate if you take a look and forward their communications to your people. That's that's a lot of terminals. Um, well, I mean they're on their way down there, so no biggie. Let's gonna check out well, first of all. Uh, uh, scan, scan. What's this? What is it? Oh, now this is what I was expecting. Who's this girl? She looks important. Oh, it's a mayor. 
The Moshai will be waiting for you at the vault. While I'm here, maybe we can talk? Of course. I owe you that. Yeah, so when tall. When I first escorted you through our city, I wasn't sure it was the right thing. But you proved I was wrong to doubt. No, more than that. What was done to my people? You made sure no more will suffer exaltation. Well, sure, but there might be more facilities like this. At least now we know what they're doing, and knowledge is power. Uh, she's not as tall as Vetra, though, I think. We're in this together. The Initiative wants to help. I want to believe it. You're so different from the cat. Oh, believe what me, not I everyone... Not everyone is nice. Believe me. The Exiles are all horrible people that need to die. Even though I haven't really seen them or heard their side of the story. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, mm, let's, let's start with something non-personal. I have a few questions about your culture. I'm happy to answer them. Accents. I've noticed that you, Ephra, and Jal all speak with different accents. When the Scourge first struck, there were many Angaran worlds. They were separated for centuries. We developed divergent cultures and dialects. Yeah. Ephra was born on Vold, and Jal is from Havarl. What about you? The cat left my home world in ruins. Those who survived were forced to flee. We found a refuge on Aya. My family helped settle this world. Yeah, so you're a little bit of everything. Like me, and my Swedish accent. I was born in Gothenburg, then moved to another place, and picked up some of, their, some of their dialect, and now I'm like all over the place when it comes to Swedish dialects. Uh, cities. Don't take this the wrong way, but this isn't your only city, right? Not at all. Vold and Havarl both have several large population centers. Aya has numerous residential areas similar to this. Are these places open for visitors? In time, perhaps. Well, you are at war. Aya seems important to the Angara. Aya is paradise. This world is a gift. We created the Vassal so everyone could enjoy this place. If only for a short time. I heard about that. For a new person to live on Aya, someone here has to leave. Will you have to leave? Someday. For now, Aya needs me. Mm-hmm. Um, the Moshe. Your people revere the Moshai. What did she do with that? After the Scourge, our civilization was in ruins. Those who led the rebuilding were thinkers, experts, and inventors. The Moshai is the greatest scientific mind of our generation. She led us to a new age of technological innovation. When the Ket attacked, she studied their technology, learned their tactics. Nice. You owe your survival to her. We owe her everything, and we'll do anything to protect her. Wow, that's amazing. She's quite the girl. When we were escaping from the exaltation facility, she used some sort of shield. And I was like, is she a biotic? But it might be it might have been some sort of some sort of shield device. I'm not sure. I'm hoping you can get me on Ephra's good side. If I knew how to do that, my job would be much simpler. <laughs> Sometimes it seems like you two don't get along at all. And other times. He's a brilliant tactician and inspiring leader. We just disagree on what's best for our people. He believes secrecy and isolation keep us safe. Mm -hmm. What do you believe? We can't defeat the cat alone. And neither can your initiative. Yeah, that's, that's a good thought. So, what do you do for fun around here? The Tavitan is a popular spot for recreational activity. Right, but what do you do? Can't work all the time. Productivity is the best form of relaxation. <laughs> it's also a great way to get stressed out. You sound like my brothers. All ten of them. Ten? And eight sisters. They're not allowed to bother me at work. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's like 18, like 19. 
That mother had gave birth to 19 children. Ten brothers and eight sisters. You have a big family. I've always thought of it as average. How many siblings mm. do you have? Just one. My sister, Sarah. What happened to the others? Our parents only had two children. Underachievers. That sounds... relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> when my family gets together, the noise is like standing next to our largest waterfall. My yep. mother says I became governor, so people would have to listen to me. Is she right? Always. <laughs> What's it like being responsible for a whole planet? I suspect it's like being the Pathfinder. Some days it's a burden. Most of the time, I know I'm where I should be. How did you become governor? Do your people elect leaders by popular vote? If by vote, you mean argue loudly until one candidate remains? Then yes. Mm. I got here because I was willing to endure and fight for the obligations that come with my office. That's good. I like this conversation. What? Should we? Or should we? Oh, mm. I sense tension between your government and the resistance. Who's actually in charge? Ephra likes giving orders. Right until the actual work of running a city starts. The resistance is good at protecting us from the Ket. But our people need more. I've learned to indulge Ephra's need for control. Just often enough to maintain my own. And... I'm, I'm guessing not all of these hearts are big, sustainable relationships. But if they are, there is a lot of relationships, or relationship options in this game. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks for your time. Ishare, Pathfinder. Ishare, that's the name of my sniper rifle, so that means goodbye then. Fitting. Council meeting notes. Personal meeting notes of Governor Paran Shia. V. Wants to open Southern Valley region to development with goal to provide refugees with permanent homes. K. Believes we are already at risk at overcrowding and harming local ecosystem. Votes to use land strictly for food production. M. Proposes compromise solution. Uh, proposes compromise solution to construct orbital habitats using Nexus technology. Hmm. Refugees would rotate between IS surface and orbital habitats using lottery system. E disagrees with accepting initiative help and especially tech. Points out the black hole will make orbital construction projects difficult, and may attract notice of cat patrols. Hmm, that's maybe true. Final note delayed to Nova Bav. We need a better home for our people. Vold is fallen, Harval remains unstable, and Aya is too small to support all of us. Is Kadara port an, an option? Do we even dare attempt reconciliation? Kadara port, what's that? Hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking this. Walking around, learning some lore, having a good time. So, uh, what's behind this door? It goes down. No, it's just an empty room behind this door. Oh no. Oh, it's locked. Okay, well, uh, let's go through this door. <laughs> 